my little update video. It's been so long that I've made a video, but today is the day. We just had some major rain and our rain garden just looks really, really nice because our daughter just weeded most of it. Want to talk about it? No. She doesn't want to talk about it. So this was, it. was all full of weeds and most of it is gone. Uh, but the greatest part about this garden is it's all native, so it doesn't need any water. And when it does rain, um, it all stays on the property because it has all these like mounds where the water just stops flowing and it just sinks into the ground. So we had two and a half days of massive rain and none of it um, went into the street. It all stayed on the property and that's really great. So now I want to show you something else that we did and just in case you don't believe me that we had a ton of weeds, I'm going to show you what the backyard looks like because that still needs weeding. And a little surprise here. There we go. Hey buddy. This is Sunny. She's a new addition to the home. Come on, Sunny. Show me the backyard. And she's fully integrated now into our little backyard farm. Look, we got all the chickens out and little Sunny doesn't care. She doesn't attack them. As a matter of fact, she kind of looks out for them. She hangs here in the backyard looking for hawks or whatever might come by. We Sometimes we have some um, bobcats that go through the yard. So maybe by having a dog in here, that's going to help. But look at all the weeds here in the backyard. Um, all that came because of the rain that we had. Not just the rain that we had yesterday, but like a week ago we had rain and then three weeks ago. And so all that stuff came. And instead of mowing the grass or trying to get rid of the weeds, I actually like it and I just let the chickens go at it. So not every day, but every so often, maybe once or twice a week, I let them just go and go through this, get pick up all the bugs and work on the weeds. And hopefully it's gonna last for a few weeks before the heat comes and then here in LA at some point it's just gonna get so dry all that stuff is gonna die off anyway um, and then here at some point I'm gonna make a video about this I actually turned over the entire s uh, soil got rid of all the weeds and I don't know if you can see this but I just threw a bunch of wheat uh, like grain on here and also corn. So right there you can see that's that's going to be some corn. So because we're not going to do a whole lot of garden this, gardening this year because we're going to be traveling over the summer, I just threw some of the basic, basically scratch that I have for the chickens in here and let it grow. And then I just put the fence around it so that the chickens won't get to it. And this will eventually become like almost like a field of corn or wheat. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll post a video about that once it's grown a little bigger. So maybe I'll show you something else. First of all, there's some sunflowers coming here as well. So I'll just let everything grow this year. There's a sunflower here. And then check out what we have in here. So, egg production is already back to normal. Usually during the winter time, the chickens stop laying. Look at this. And, um, but they came back and they're laying, but we're going through so many eggs. I have right now, I have 12 laying chickens. 
So I get about two, three dozens a week and it's not enough. So I got five more of these little guys that I picked up and in six months they will start laying as well. So that'll help. Got some rabbits in here. They have this whole space for themselves. Here's some of the weeds that we weeded. And even though they're like pet bunnies that we got from a shelter and they never actually were on soil, the moment I got them in here, they started digging. And they have this whole tunnel system here where they just protect themselves from the rain that came and they also just like living in these rabbit holes. They can go up here if they want to, but they definitely prefer to be down on the ground. So, have that going on. Let's take a look here. So this is the chicken run and I just put a little cage up here so that the dog doesn't get in here because he likes to like dig up some of the scratch and eats it like there's some watermelon um, rinds is that what it's called and he likes to eat that and that's not good for him good for her some more rabbits there i had to put them in a cage usually they get to run around here too but um, the female one has a little bit of a leg problem and i hope she just gets a little bit of a rest in there she can uh, she can come back, but she's very old. So we'll see what happens. But um, she lives with a buck and the buck was lonely. He didn't want to be outside. He wanted with her in the cage. So as soon as I opened up, he jumped in and he's not leaving her, which is nice. So we got that going on. What do we have over here? We have another rabbit. He's got plenty of space. Lots of fresh weeds, got a water bucket. And then in the background, you can see another one of my bucks. Everybody's pretty old. Once we come back from Europe in the summer, I'll start a new flock with, with new rabbits that I have to get. Whoops, out of focus. So that's what's going on in the backyard. Um, they have so many videos that I shot that I just don't get to edit. Like I did one on this. I did one on the dog. Actually, we trained her where she um, is good with the animal. She comes, comes in when we call her, all that stuff. So I thought that might be a nice video because we actually went to like a dog park where they have a meetup and you can see how they train those dogs. And most of them, it's actually a pit bull nonprofit organization that does that, that really shows responsible uh, dog handling. And we definitely, as new dog owners, wanted to be in a situation where we can let her run around freely. She listens to us and we don't have to constantly tell her what not to do. So by just giving her incentives to do, make good choices. Um, but that's another video that hopefully I will put out soon. Okay, good, there we go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry that I don't post as regularly as I should, but uh, life's pretty busy. So with that, I'll leave you with some peaceful chickens. Put on some music and just watch this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.
All right, have a good one.